What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993, and I'm back here for some more baseball news. Craig Kimbrell. I just don't get it. I don't get how how good with how good this guy is. Yes, he's had a couple inconsistent points, but I'm just really starting to feel like a lot of teams just jump the gun on him. And they give him that quick change of scenery, and he goes back to being great. It's a very, very strange bond with Craig Kimbrell and the seventh, now his seventh team in his 14 year major league career. Kimbrell has already been 14 years for Craig Kimbrell playing baseball. But he signs a one year deal, $10 million with the National League pennant winner, Philadelphia Phillies, just a couple days ago. So, again, he was definitely the best closer in the league from 2011 to 2014 when he was with the Braves. He remained solid after going to the Padres. And then, of course, after that, to the Red Sox. And then he um, won three straight All-Star seasons between 2016 and 2018 with the Braves. Sorry, with the Red Sox. And then um, Kimbrell hit free agency... And he didn't sign a contract, though, until June of 2019 with the Cubs, which was a three-year contract, and the deal immediately just slept. Because in 41 appearances in his first season with the Cubs, he um, had an ERA of 6 through the end of 2020. But at the beginning of 2021, though, he um he got to a very great start, had like a microscopic 057 ERA through 31 and two thirds of an innings, um in the first half of 2021, securing his eighth All Star selection. Of course, the Cubs were getting ready to rebuild at the time, so he was traded to the White Sox, and unfortunately it didn't go too well. With the White Sox in that that second half of the 2021 season, he had an ERA of 509, which had the White Sox ship him off to the Dodgers for uh, AJ Pollock. And the thing is, though, is yes, he showed some you know concerning signs at times. His year with the Dodgers, although wasn't as great as we know he can be, it still wasn't that bad. He did have like a 435 ERA in the first half. But then he did start to um to you know like tone down and he finished here with a 310 ERA. The Dodgers though were still not too certain though about his consistency. Removed him from the ninth inning in September, and he got scratched entirely from the playoff roster. I don't quite get it. Yes, he's shown a couple signs of inconsistencies. But at this point now, it feels like that all these teams have jumped the gun on Craig Kimbrell. Yes, he started off this season a little sluggish. Not as bad as that 6 ERA when he first joined the Cubs, of course. But it's like, okay, he had a bad stretch, but he bounced back. You know, like, I, I'm not sure why. They've limited Craig Kimbrell's opportunities. And he's bounced around with so many teams. Because he's still got 22 of 27 saves this past season. Which is not too bad. He's He has the most saves among active players with 394. He will be 6 away for 400 that he should get in 2023. As I imagine that he'll probably be the Phillies closer. And they also have like you know players like Jose Alvarado and Sir Anthony uh, Dominguez, um, who split time with closing work last year. They'll probably be capable of taking on higher leverage responsibilities in the seventh and eighth inning, and having the experienced Kimbrel um, get the ninth inning. I think this is a good deal. And again, the Phillies, you know, after you know um, getting to the National League pennant, have really not lost anything at all. They still could be a good contending team, of course, in the National League East. But then you got the Mets, who have made a lot of noise. The Braves, not too much noise. They, I don't think, have they really made any signs this offseason, the Braves? Then again, the Braves have a lot of people locked up long-term. So again, those three teams are going to be battling. 
They are. It'll be interesting to see, of course, but like I said, I continue to not quite understand what the whole problem with Craig Kimbrell is. He's had a couple bad stretches, yes, but it was it that bad that you had to have him go to like seven different teams throughout the years? I don't know. It's just, I find it strange. But now he's with the Phillies, and he's the team that will probably be contending in 2023. So I hope that happens, and I do hope he does get to um, his 400th save this coming season as well. Pulling like a praying mantis as he does as he looks into the um, into uh, the, the catcher's glove. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that is my quick thoughts on the Phillies signing Craig Kimbrell to a one-year deal as the seventh team in his 14-year career. What are you guys' thoughts on this Craig Kimbrell deal? You guys agree with me as well? Are people jumping the gun and giving up too easily on Craig Kimbrell? What do you guys think? Make sure you guys leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. Be sure as always to slap a like on the video, subscribe for more content on my channel, and follow me on Twitter as well at the Club of the Man 93 And be sure as always to shout for me boss up! And follow me on TikTok at the Club of the Man 1993 until then, guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you guys all later. Please, as always, guys, stay tuned for some more baseball news. And have a great rest of your night. Peace out, everybody. Yeah, no, I will